Welcome to the fifth edition of the Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program. This week's installment takes us to the Manika Land Province, Kumakomoyo, where we take a look at how Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program have progressed. Manika Land Province is situated at the eastern side of Zimbabwe, bordering with Mozambique. The Forbes border post is a busy transit point that offers a trading passage between Zimbabwe and Mozambique. Most haulless trucks use this route to connect not only with Zimbabwe but with other countries surrounding the country. However, when the Plum Tree Mutare Highway, which is also known as R5, was done, this stretch was left behind. With the last season's heavy rains and heavy loads that passed through this stretch on a daily basis, its conditions had further deteriorated, making it difficult for motorists to navigate through. Not only had it been infested with potholes, but it was narrow and needed widening. Under the supervision of the Manikaland Provincial Roads Engineer, Engineer Anod Mutungwazi, the road has not only been dualized, but has been transformed into an aesthetic component of the border post. The top of works is for us to dualize the remaining 800 meter section. Right now you can see we are now at around 95%. And the total cost of the project is now around 1.2 million. Tai <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> But otherwise, but you know, say, ah, you're right. congestion, congestion, Birchnaf Bridge offers passage across Zimbabwe's second largest river, the Save River, which flows into Mozambique and finally into the Indian Ocean. It serves as a crucial crossing point across this mighty river between the Mashingo Province, which links with Great Bridge Border Post, and the Manikalem Province, which links with Mozambique. A 25-ton weight restriction, however, has been imposed on the 82-year-old bridge to protect it from overloading due to strenuous loads. This has left haulage trucks with above restriction loads to use the Ngundu-Tanganda Road to connect between the southern and eastern side of Zimbabwe. This road, however, 
cannot withhold these heavy loads and is now crumbling under the heavy load. Now that the 800 meter stretch of the Forbes Road is almost complete, the provincial engineer of Manikalem province, engineer Arnold Mutungwazi, has set his eyes on reconstruction of this road under the emergency road rehabilitation program. The Ngundu Tangana Road, it links between the southern side and the eastern side of the country, between Mashingo, trucks coming from South Africa, going through Mashingo to Beira. This is the route that they, are, they, are, they will be using. Yeah, we have now concluded our tendering process. The scope of works is now for us to do 30 kilometers rehab of the road. We expect to start construction of the, the rehabilitation of the road in two weeks' time. And basically, it will be reclamation of the existing base, then stabilization of the base material. At least it will be, it will be able to carry the load that is now being carried on the pavement. Most motorists who have been using this road are now resorting to using long detours to avoid the badly damaged section which make a larger section of this road. road Implementation of uh, emergency works in uh, under phase two in the Manikaland uh, province at uh, various stages of uh, completion. But however, they are there have been internal processes that uh, had to be done by various road authorities, uh, processes such as uh, tendering for contractors to carry out various works uh, under phase two. Um, we are happy with, uh, with the Ngundu Tanganda road rehabilitation, which uh, will be kicking off. Uh, funds have actually been availed for, for for the rehabilitation of 30 kilometers of that road under phase two. And we're hopeful that uh, the, the, the rehabilitation of the 30 kilometers of Tanganda Ngundu Road will be completed before the rainy season starts. Mutare City is the provincial capital of the Manikaland province. This beautiful eastern capital was also now spared by the Cyclone Dineo induced floods with most of its roads facing the same wrath faced by most roads around the country. With the same determination government has used to rehabilitate roads in all provinces, Mutare City has now been capacitated to rehabilitate its road network under the Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program. The town clerk for Mutare City, Mr. Joshua Maligwa, acknowledged the bad state of Mutare roads but is confident the funds they have received will go a long way in reclaiming the city's road infrastructure. Most of the roads in Mudare city were heavily damaged following the incessant rains which have pounded uh, the country uh, in January. Out of the 380 kilometers, uh, I should say most of them were heavily damaged to an extent that they were no longer trafficable. Uh, even in the CBD, there were lots of uh, gullies, dongas, and most of these roads, even in the in the in the in the, in the, in the residential and uh, in the CBD area, were also heavily damaged to an extent that so far we have uh, managed to to reconstruct almost three quarters of the, of the roads. The phase one project program of the road rehabilitation went on very well in Dar city. We have managed to resuscitate 
uh, most of the link roads, particularly in high density and low density areas. Most of the major roads, including the Dangamvara link road, the Jeff road, Makamba road, and some of the major roads within our CBD were, were resurfaced and uh, they are now trafficable. And uh, we have also done quite a good job in the CBD where quite a number of roads have been, have been uh, resurfaced, particularly by doing portal patching. A spectacular finish of the 1,1 km asphalt overlay stretch of the Aerodrome Road and the 1,6 km stretch of the Faruka Road is testimony of the confidence and capability of the Mutari City Council to rehabilitate its road network. These projects, which were done under Phase 1 of the Emergency Works, now pave way to Phase 2 of the Emergency Works, which the City Council is now preparing for. We have since received a, a tranche of 100,000, and as a council, last week we met with our uh, special council meeting in councillors, whereby we were deliberating on how should the tranche is going to be, to be, to be used. So far, we've actually came up with a program wherein we are going to target Jeff Road, which is almost 3.8 kilometers, and we are also going to, to to touch part of Magamba Road, which is going to which is around 1.5 kilometers. We will also deal with the Blessing Makonika Drive to the tune of 2.5 2.5 kilometers, and we should not also forget the Aerodrome Road, which is composed of uh, four kilometers and average table. 0.58 kilometers. Jeff Road, which stretches between Golden Pico Cartel and Magamba Drive, links Chikanga, St. Joseph, Natview, Zimta, and Dreamhouse residential areas in Mutari. This road, which is a crucial thread between these areas, has been identified under Phase 2 of the Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program, with the 3,8 kilometer stretch earmarked to be upgraded from gravel to surface. every week at the town clerk, however, has urged motorists to exercise caution as they embark on phase two of the emergency road rehabilitation program, which will see major projects happening around the city. It's important to point out that as we approach the phase two of the roads, uh, the emergency road rehabilitation program, it is uh, advisable to our residents, motorists, to be cautious, to exercise caution each time they are approaching uh, groups and gangs of people who will be working on our roads. 
there are quite a number of incidents whereby people are failing to take heed of, of, of reducing speed to an extent that most of our teams who will be working on the roads will end up being involved in various accidents. Phase one uh, of the emergency road rehabilitation program in Manikaland has um, gone uh, very well. Um, we are happy with uh, the progress um, that has been recorded by various road authorities in the Manikaland uh, province. Uh, Zanara has successfully managed to fund uh, most of the projects in, uh, uh, under, under, under phase one. The Mutara Asphalt Plant is one of the major beneficiaries of the Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program. The Mutare Asphalt Plant, uh, which is also in Manikaland, which has been supplying premix to most road authorities in the Manikaland uh, province, uh, we, uh, had been idle since uh, 2008. The Emergency Road Rehabilitation Program um, uh, actually brought life to that plant. So since 2008 it has been lying idle and since the inception of the program the plant uh, started operating. As of uh, May uh, this year uh, the plant was operating at 40% uh, uh, capacity utilization. Uh, but um, currently as we speak uh, the plant is now operating at 100% uh, capacity. This uh, was made possible by uh, uh, a, a disbursement of uh, $119,246 for the rehabilitation and uh, uh, for the rehabilitation and maintenance works of the plant. Whilst the government's emergency road rehabilitation program has gone a long way in capacitating road authorities, the fast approaching rain season calls for speed in completion of funded works. These are public funds and Zenara is not only uh, making disbursements to road authorities under the Emergency Works uh, program. Uh, Zenara is actively involved also in the supervision of these projects uh, through monitoring and evaluation uh, of uh, projects which would have received funding under this uh, uh, program. This update has been brought to you by the Zimbabwe National Road Administration, Zinara, driven to make you drive well.